this video you are going to learn about these three things very first we will learn what exactly the elementary subdivision second is what is homomorphic graphs and the third is what exactly the kuratowski theorem is so let's begin with the first term that is the elementary subdivision elementary subdivision it is an operation that is performed on the graph so suppose in a graph if you have an edge between a vertex u and v and if you remove this edge u to v and in place of this if you add a new vertex between the vertices u and v suppose it is a w and this edge is converted into two edge one is between a u and w and second is between e, w and v so this type of operation is called as an elementary subdivision means a single edge is converted into the two edges by adding a new vertex or we can say that if you remove this vertex from this graph these two edges are converted into a single edge between a vertex u and v so such an operation is called as an elementary subdivision for example in this case you can observe that in a graph g it has a five vertices and there are five edges now we can perform a subdivision on a graph g in order to get the graph h so for this edge d to e if you remove this edge and in place of this if i add one new vertex and connect that vertex with d and e this type of operation is called a subdivision so name this vertex as suppose small g even if you remove the edge g e and if you take a new vertex suppose i and join g i as well as i e this operation is also called as an elementary subdivision in this case we can say that the graph h is obtained from the graph g by using two elementary subdivisions so firstly we have removed the edge d e and we have converted this edge into the two edges one is d to g and then g to e after that we have removed this g e edge and we have taken another vertex and joined that vertex with the g and e moving further that is the homeomorphic graphs so two graphs are called a homeomorphic if one graph can be obtained from the other with the help of sequence of elementary subdivision simply you need to observe that whether these two graphs are homeomorphic or not or i can rephrase this question can you obtain the graph g from h or h from g by using an elementary subdivision so before that just label the vertices suppose this is a b c d and in this case this is a b c d e so what we can do we can take a new vertex e over here and convert the single edge into the two parts one is a to e another is e to c so by performing a one single elementary subdivision we can get a graph g from it so due to this we can say that these two graphs are homeomorphic now you need to check whether the graph g is homeomorphic to h2 or not so now you can check it if you take an additional vertex over here and convert this single edge into the two edges from a to f and f to e so we are performing the elementary subdivision by adding a new vertex f and converting this one single edge into two edges so we can say that graph g is homeomorphic to h2 because we can get the graph h2 from g by performing one single elementary subdivision so we can say that g and h2 are homeomorphic graphs now whether h and h2 are homeomorphic so answer is yes even you can check it we need to take the two times of subdivision over here 
to get the graph of H2. One time we will take an vertex E and this single edge is converted into two edges and after that we will take another vertex F and this single edge A E is converted into two edges A to F, F to E. So from H we can obtain the graph H2 by performing two times of subdivisions. So we can say that H and H2 are also homeomorphic graphs. So in short, these three graphs are homeomorphic to each other. The next is Kuratowski's theorem. According to the Kuratowski's theorem, a graph is planar if and only if it has a no subgraph that is homeomorphic to K5 or a K33. K5 means it is a complete graph with the five vertices. Whereas K33 means it represents the complete bipartite graph. So according to the Kuratowski's theorem, the graph is planar if there does not exist any subgraph that is homeomorphic to K5 or K33. Or we can say that the graph is non-planar if and only if it has a subgraph that is homeomorphic to K5 or K33. So this result is used to prove that the graph is planar or a non-planar. Let's explore how to apply this theorem in the next example. In this example, we need to show that the graph is non-planar with the help of Kuratowski's theorem. It means we need to show that this graph is homeomorphic to either K5 that is a complete graph with the 5 vertices or a complete bipartite graph with the 3 vertices in a 1 set and the 3 vertices in a 2nd set. So for that we will first observe this graph. Now you can observe the degree of each vertex. So in this case degree of each vertex is 3. So from here we can say that this graph is a 3 regular graph. If it is a 3 regular graph and we need to show that this graph is a non-planar, it means we need to show that this graph is homeomorphic to the K33. Because in K5, the degree of each vertex is 4, whereas the degree of each vertex in a complete bipartite graph 3,3 3 is 3. So it means we need to perform the subdivisions and try to reconstruct this graph in form of K33. So for that, first remove this edge. So once you do that, you will get this type of a graph. And after that, remove the vertices V2 and V4. When you remove a vertex V2, it means the edge V1, V2, second edge V2, V3 get converted into one single edge. And you will get this type of a graph. After that, remove the vertex V4. With the removal of the vertex V4, you can observe that the edges V1, V4 and V4, V6 is get converted into one single edge that is from V1 to V6. Now, there are a six vertices, each of degree 3. Now, try to reconstruct this graph into the complete bipartite graph. So take three vertices in a one set. Suppose we are taking V1, then V5 and after that V7. Because we know that in a complete bipartite graph, if we are taking a three vertices in a one set, then they are not adjacent with each other. So we are taking the non-adjacent vertices of V1 in the same set. So V1 is not adjacent with V5 and V7. So take this in a one set. Next take the vertices V3 in another set. Now V3 is not adjacent with V8 and V6. Now construct these edges in this graph. V1, V3. So this edge can be constructed over here. Then V1, V8. Then V1, V6. After that V5, V3. Then V5, V8. Then V5, V6. V7, V3. V7, V8. Then V7, V6. You can see that after performing the subdivision, we are getting a K33 graph. So from here we can conclude that 
This graph is non-planar with the help of Kuratowski's theorem, which further says that this graph has subgraph that is homeomorphic to the complete bipartite graph three comma three.